Fluffy Jellyfish. Today we're going to be doing a pet haul as I've not done one of them before and they're the kind of videos that I kind of love watching on YouTube. So today is going to be an extra special festive pet haul as we go and buy all the animals Christmas presents. So let's go and off to pets at home now. Bulls! Little hairy rat bulls. They jingle as they walk. They jingle as they walk. They jingle as they And definitely not having the audio in this. Balls. Hairy little rock balls, they jiggle as they run. Because they do, they jiggle as they run. I know run. they do. You can see the little balls sway from side to side as they run away. Run, ratty, run! Jiggly balls. Like little marbles. Little hairy marbles. You're a furry rock marble. You're a furry rock marble. Great big squash nuts. God, I hope their balls don't hurt as much as mine when they get hit. I'd imagine that they don't because they they'd like. Never be able well, to exactly. This is going to be sped up, so whether you'll be able to see that or not, I don't know. Are you uh, speeding this up? Yeah. Hairy balls, hairy balls, hairy little balls. What enough about me? What about the rats? Look at the bunnies sleeping in their litter box. Oh. Look at the bunnies sleeping in the litter box. Wow. Oh, he's like a Dalmatian guinea pig. Aren't you cute? He could really not. That one's got massive ears. Oh, he's right into it. He's got such big ears. Oh, that's cute. Oh, he's not that much left in the Christmas section. I like the little train. I think Pika would like a little train. Oh, that's quite little. I think Mario would like a little train. You could see that. Oh, look, we could get on a Santa hat pouch. That's quite cute. Oh, that's quite little. I think it wants out. Will we take him home? Do you want? Calm down, little guy. I know you've not been provided with a very good home. I hope someone takes you home soon. I think he's got a friend. Gerbils like friends, do they not? No, there's only one in there. It's probably why he's not very happy. Oh, little mate, if we had a space for you, I would take you home. Gerbils. Mary's making me sad. 
He's not got a very nice house. It's not really a gerbil. No, like it's, digging, it's though, not very it? suitable. I hope someone takes you home soon. What's the size of that I know, one? it's huge. Or she's huge, sorry. <laughs> she looks like that one... Oh, man. We, we must. No, but they're ladies and we don't have ladies. We have boys. Yeah, we have a, another cage. Although I think that was too small for four. Yeah, it's too small for four. Oh, man, but she wants to come home with us. Oh, now I'm sad. She must be an older one. The other one. Well, if they were surrendered all together, there's a chance that it's just from a different litter. That's what I mean, yeah, she must be older. Yeah. If they were boys, I would have already got them. I know. <laughs> Believe me, Moo, I know that. I've got no illusions about that. They would be in a box. I might post on the rat script to say that they're cute. Hi! Aren't you lovely? Oh, Moo. No. No, we can't. Oh, no. We must not. through it and show you all of the things that we bought for the pets. It's mostly Christmas presents and sort of little festive nice things so I'm just going to take you through all the things that we bought. So first things first, I got a bunch of different treats. So the pets at home do a three for four or sorry four for three offer. So we got biscuit rings with parsley because the rat boys love them. We also got these adorable little biscuit hearts strawberry flavor just because i thought you know they're red and it's christmas and they're quite festive and i just thought they were quite cute and we also got these little cupcakes that again are red and they're cute and they're little crackers and they're sort of berry flavored raspberry and cranberry and they love them and they are little sort of yeah they're sweet so i wanted to get them and the last one I got these apple and carrot ones because again they're their favorites and they love them and Piku especially loves the carrot ones so they're gonna love these. Another treat food that we got for them. Right, I've never tried millet before so I'm not sure how they will be with it. Um, This is millet for those of you that don't know. I hope they enjoy it. I've never used it with pets before Um, so yeah I just thought we'd give that a go as it's not very expensive so we got a couple of strands of them and we'll give them to the rats and the hamsters and see what they think of it. For the rat boys, I got this, which I love. How festive is it? And it's something that we can use like all year round. I don't think it necessarily needs to be a Christmas thing, but it is really, really cute. So it'll be used as a chew and I hope that they'll push it around a little bit and just enjoy it. We'll try it first in the cage. And if it doesn't go down that well in the cage, then we'll maybe move it into free roam time. They can use it during playtime. But I think it'll also be good to like stick little treats in between these little holes and make it like a foraging toy. So yeah, I hope they enjoy this. Also for the rats, who are behind me and I suppose can see what I'm doing, but you know, it'll be a surprise, kind of. Also for the, the rat boys, we got this, which is a bird toy, but I think they'll like it. It's quite cute. They've got a little bell in their cage already and they seem to quite enjoy playing with it. And this has the wooden chews on it as well that they can chew. So I suppose it's a little bit like a wind chime. I just thought it was cute. I thought they'd like it. I think it is. Yeah, it's a bird toy, but it's also a picture of a rat on it, so. Thought they'd enjoy that. And for Piku and Maru, they will be getting one of these each, respectively. 
Piku will probably get the red tree with the Santa because her cage is red and it'll go better. Whereas Mario will get the green tree and the penguin because her wheel is green and it goes with that. I know it's just me making those arbitrary choices. I don't really care about colors, but I like to make things match in the cage. So I hope these enjoy these little presents. Also for Mario, we stopped in at TK Maxx on the way back and this little baking tin is gonna be her new sand bath. It's much bigger than the one she's got already. So I just thought it'd be great for her to be able to use this as a sand bath. Another thing I got at Pets at Home was this. These are decorations for fish tanks, so fake plants, and I bought them for my sea monkey enclosures. I just figured I'd make them a little bit more pretty and pop some plants in them, make them look a little bit more interesting. So yeah, I got these for my sea monkey enclosure. And last but not least, look at this guy! Isn't he awesome? Oh, focus. Yeah, isn't this guy awesome? So I'm off home for Christmas, off home to Edinburgh, and there I will be seeing one of my best friends, Bailey. Bailey the Golden Retriever. So this is a Christmas present for Bailey. I think it squeaks as well. Yeah, so he'll love this. He loves soft toys, and I just had to get the sloth because it's a sloth. Like, how could you not get the sloth? Isn't it cool? So I'm, yeah, I'm probably more pleased with this than he's gonna be. I hope he enjoys it. So that's everything we got from Pets at Home, our complete festive haul. So I'm gonna pop some footage here of us putting the things in the cage. Hope you enjoy. So it's Christmas time for Maru and this is what she's getting in her cage. So I'm gonna pop them in just now. Hopefully she'll come out to interact with them, but it looks like she's staying in her bed for now. Little Christmas tree for Maru. I've also got some of these, which are going to be her little presents, and I'm going to pop them under her tree. There we go, some nice little presents for Mary. I'll show you them in a close up. I'm hoping later on when she comes out for her normal, normal time that she'll interact with them and I'll get some nice footage. But for now, that's what they look like in the cage. Lovely little Christmas tree with a festive penguin, because apparently penguins are Christmassy. And some little presents underneath. Hope you enjoy them, Maru. Merry Christmas. So for Piku for Christmas, we have this little cute red tree and a little Santa, and I'm gonna pop that in just now. Can't forget to put presents under your tree. Would you like one? You just pouch it straight away. These ones can go under your tree.
hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching and I hope you have a fantastic holiday season whatever you end up doing. I'd really love it if you'd subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video that would be an awesome Christmas present for me and make sure to like and comment something down below. Let me know what you've done with your pets for Christmas and what presents that you got them. Thanks for watching, Fluffy Jellyfish out!